So I guess, you know, what, what's, uh, what's the, the plans for you going into the off season? Obviously, a lot is going to change around this organization. But I guess, uh, how does that kind of change what you're doing going into the summer? No, it doesn't. Um, just go home, get to work, uh, you know, take some time off with my family, and uh, just get back to it. You know, uh, however the chips lay, they lay. Um, it's nothing I can control. You know, my position here is uh, to show up and, and work. Uh, everything else is out of my hand. Obviously, you signed here a couple of years ago. Could you ever imagine it, it ended up like this a few years later once you signed that deal? You know, what was it like 16, I want to say? I mean, for sure. You look at you know, the, the, the years prior to me being here, um, you know, I brought up something kind of crazy. Just thinking about the guys, the number of guys that Drew and AB have played with and their time here. And they got to be, you know, a couple guys that played with the most teammates, you know, and any span, you know, an AD span of being here, he's probably played with the most amount of teammates, different teammates. Um, and so it wasn't far-fetched, you know. I think we made some moves um, before to, you know, try to compete. And then um, things resolved and we couldn't kind of continue that same pattern. So, for sure, I mean, it, it wasn't something I thought was going to happen, but I, I definitely thought in the back of my head that it was a possibility and, um, and we, we already did it. You mentioned um, going, going back to work <coughs> this summer, you know, when you go back to California. What, what are some of the things that you work on? You've been in the league six years. Um, I think it's kind of it's hard to pinpoint a specific thing to work on, especially uh, you know when you can't control. Uh, you know you can sit here and write papers all day, but if you you know you never really get the chance to turn one in, what's the point? And so I kind of was in a situation where um, you know I didn't I don't I didn't think I get a, got a fair chance of uh, playing the full the full extent of the of the season. Um, you know I've had talk with the coaches in the last bunch of games was something that they thought highly of, especially in my position. But, um, you know, not being able to go out there and really and, and give it a chance to compete through the year, especially with a season like this, it's something that you kind of, you know, you have to look at um, from afar and really don't doubt yourself. I think mentally is, is the, the key for me next year is just to go out there um, and try to try to do something early on in the season or, um, you know, Shit, try it out. You know, go out there and go for it. If uh, the situation is going to be like it was this year, what, what has this been like? Being up, down, on the bench, coming in, having to play spot minutes. Um, I mean, it's, it, I'm, I'm a professional, so it doesn't really. I can't control that stuff. Sorry, but uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't control. You know, um, the five or who goes out there. All I can do is try to control my effort and, and practice. And then, you know, I think that kind of played a, a role in me when I did get minutes. I didn't want to mess up. You know, I didn't want to do the wrong thing and that has a way of actually playing against you because you go out there and you start thinking um, and you can shoot yourself in the foot. But it's a learning experience. And I mean, it's like I told some of the guys in the locker room, my opportunity not playing was an opportunity for them. And so I'm happy for them to go out there and hoop. I'm happy to see guys like Karinch, Darius get extended minutes and, and go out there and uh, be able to make mistakes and learn from it. So since you've been here, defense has been the one thing that you've been consistent in talking about with this franchise. Last season, the key to success in that second half was the defense. But it seemed like from the beginning of the season, there was a, a lack of commitment on that end. Was that on-court chemistry, or did the drama surrounding the franchise start to permeate the on-court effort? Um, you know, it's, it's, all, it's always tough. You know, I think we was put in a position where um, you didn't come back with the same kind of core, really. Uh, I mean, you got two all-team defensive guys, for sure. You would think that the defense is better, but... I think we put an emphasis on trying to score the ball as, as best that we could, especially with um, the situation we were in. I think that was the one consistent consistent thing that we tried to put together this year, and we did. I think we were like a top ten offense for the majority of the of the year. But um, that defense is, a, is another monster in itself. Um, our best year last year, uh, we actually were a better defensive team than we were than offense, um, and, and that's tough, you know, in a situation where you have guys, you have a lot of guys, and about to enter free agency. You know, nobody, I'm not saying nobody, but it's hard to kind of just get guys to buy in the philosophy of, uh, of just playing straight defense for one year. You know, I think if we brought the guys back and uh, had the same situation next year, I think for sure we'd be a better defensive team. But that's kind of just hard trying to go year to year and trying to just put pieces in to, to kind of create uh, a defensive stability, especially when that's not something that we've been huge on here. Hey, this whole last process. question, guys. There's been a lot of talk about uh, the way AD is perceived and how, how much that has changed, and you guys actually know him. Mm -hmm. So I guess, uh, what's it been like seeing the way people have changed, the way they talk about him, the way they see him after this entire you know, process? Uh, I think it just comes with it. You know, um, 
for Guy to be here and, and, and try to do as much as he possibly could. And, um, I think he loves the city. I think uh, it's just a tough situation that he's in where, you know, one of his last games he comes in, boos from the jump, and then he was scoring, he scored like some crazy amount of numbers in, in 20 minutes, and, you know, by the end, and they're cheering for him. I think they both have a, a difficult situation where, you know, the city is going to miss him and he's going to miss the city. But um, it's never easy in this business when, it, when it's a business because when an organization makes a move, um, you know, it's, that's on organization and they do what's best for the team. But when somebody, a player, does what's best for his family, you know, it's kind of looked at as a bad thing. And I hate that he gets that perception. Um, I saw the same thing with PG. But they're both doing something huge. I think, uh, you know, PG saying, that he wanted to uh, relocate, and AD saying that they want to relocate gives it the, the team a chance to get assets for him. You know, they, he could easily just been quiet and just walked in free agency, but he actually wants to work with the team to find a, a location and also help them as well. Thanks, Thanks. Appreciate it.